Hi Taurus, welcome to your weekly scopes. Please keep in mind this is only a general reading. Take what it feels right and with what resonates with your own life experiences at the moment. So Taurus, really beautiful week if you want to. If you connect with your own self and um, the meaning of abundance, the meaning of what real abundance has for you, which is a quality you have on your own being a Taurus. So there's a lot of uh, energy here of completion, of, uh, you know, finding that final stage of something you were trying to accomplish in the physical world, either in uh, connection with finances, with your work, with your health. There's an opportunity here for you to accomplish it if you trust your own self. And if you know that true, true abundance, truthful abundance is within you and nobody can take that away from you. So it doesn't matter how much money you have in your bank account. That's not real abundance. That's a reflection that can happen when you believe on yourself and your own worth. But you know that your worth doesn't come from possessions, doesn't come from what you have and what you don't have. It comes from who you are. It comes from being, not having. And you have an opportunity of an understanding for that this week. If you want to, if you trust yourself, because the main opportunity for you this week is trust. Trust your intuition, trust your emotions, express them out, take a leap of faith. Go do something amazingly out of your comfort zone. You'll be surprised by the effect that has on you. As a Taurus, you like your comfort zone. And you are solid, and you are strong, and there's nothing wrong with that. Not at all. I have a Taurus rising, so I know I get you. But from being constantly stagnant, you don't uh, develop other aspects of your life, of your soul, that you need to develop in order to have a fulfilled, balanced life. So there's um, many times a resistance um, for acting out on impulse, because you, you like to know where you're walking on, the, 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 the ground you're walking on, you, you, you like stable. Trusting the unknown is not stable, because you don't know what lies on the other side. But there's amazing opportunities awaiting for you if you are able to get out of your comfort zone. That's the message this week for you is to trust the unknown, to trust what you're feeling. Also, it's a water card, so it's an intuition card. But it's active emotion. It's where you get out of the stagnant place, where you get out of the receptive place, and you start acting, you start expressing, you start communicating your love, expressing out it. So it's, it's a week to be daring. It's a week to really move into, uh, into higher grounds, into uh, realms that you would never, never think you would go to. But if you dare to this week, there's a beautiful opportunity for you to accomplish something. If you show the world, but especially yourself, that you are able to get out of there, you are able to uh, trust life, you are able to be optimistic, you are able to just, you know, dare this week, dare yourself, challenge yourself into something you wouldn't usually do. The main challenge is abundance. This card is you, Taurus, I always associate it with you. So maybe you are your own your own enemy this week. The only thing keeping you from getting what you're trying to accomplish is your own usual way of doing things, which there's nothing wrong. Like I was saying, it's just about joining both parts of uh, your own self. The one part that is your innate conscious self. Your aspect, the aspects of yourself that you know very well, that you handle very well, that you 
innately uh, if someone asks you no what are your strongest and weakest traits and the other side is the unknown the other side is the, the shadow side that we all have and we all need to integrate so your shadow side is to be much more much more daring much more able to free yourself from conventions from restrictions from doing things only the way uh, you know only by the book is daring is again daring is is being emotionally open to transform situations in your life that demand transformation in a different way a different approach of doing things so real abundance come from that understanding that you don't need to be one thing or other you need to join them both so you can feel really abundant so you don't have those moments where you act or you lash out and nobody recognizes not recognize you, not even yourself, because you know there's so much you can uh, hide or so much you can suppress. Something always trigger trigger our being to develop those traits, but usually if we repress it, when it happens, it happens out of proportion. So this week the challenge is for you not only to feel abundant within yourself, to find in you a real place of solace of of prosperity the prosperity you're looking for but also of understanding aspects of your nature that may be keeping you from trusting from having faith from jumping into the unknown from doing things out of the ordinary that at the same time you are hoping for the advice card is we are in the world so the advice card is in, in integrating this opportunity and this challenge, you'll feel like you reached the final goal you set in the beginning, that you find that final stage of abundance, of prosperity, of accomplishment, of your goals that you have been trying to manifest for a long time. There's real manifestation wanting to happen in your life just the way you like it but also is asking you something in return which is just about you integrating yourself it's about you trusting trusting that uh it's there it's there all for you but you have to do something about it you have to do something about it so you can fully manifest itself in a healthy way again understanding that abundance real what real abundance means to you the difference between having and being and being too overly attached to values outside values where's your work and where's your values is also an important question to make yourself this week but the main thing i would say is really do something different and when i say do something different is just it can be just a minor thing it can be just about if you drink coffee every morning start drinking tea as simple as that because it's a, a developing process if you are a creature of habits you have to slowly start integrating new new uh, routines in your life so you can then take uh, whole new stages of differences of uh, unexpected events without being so um, many times so hurt by them because you like things solid and that's why exactly many times in your life you'll find a lot of uh things crum crumbling out a lot of things dying on you because of that because of that understanding that nothing is permanent and true true security comes from you so Taurus, I wish you a great week. Thank you for listening, liking, and subscribing. It really means a lot to me. And hopefully we'll see each other next week.